Good morning, traders. Welcome to Privateer FX <clears throat> Asian preview in the North American wrap. Well, we had the long awaited Fed day. They hiked 25 basis points. They voted for another. The dots moved up, and it, so it's looking like the council is uh, looking for four hikes total in uh, 2018, which only required one extra vote. Um, you know, so it turned out like on the initial headlines, it was kind of a hawkish hike, and the dollar responded uh, accordingly. If we take a look here at the, uh, well, we can just take a look at uh, Euro dollar was a good example, or well, let's take a look at Aussie dollar. <coughs> he had a, a pretty decent move down. Here's the Fed hourly bar right here. You know, Aussie and Kiwi and Euro, they were all trading on the highs of the day pretty much when this came out. And, you know, Aussie went from 76.02. It sold all the way off down to 75.30. So, you know, that's a big move. If you look at the Kiwi dollar, very big move. 70.50, which is a massive level now. We'll look at that in a second. All the way down to 69.75 and then close that hour at 70.06. Now we're back here, kind of unchanged in the day. Um, let's take a look at the, uh, the Kiwi chart, because this is a break trade that we're looking at. Right here, um, get rid of some of these lines. This level right here, 70.58 is important. You see these hourly two, two and these are all four hour bars. We keep pausing up here. So this is a break trade uh, of the dollar selling, uh, I mean dollar sellers. Uh, dollar yen came under a bit of pressure here late in the day. Um, and then we'll pop over to the equity chart. Initial move was up, <coughs> hawkish Fed. Powell started speaking, market turned around, bonds started rallying, dollar yen sold off. And you know, I had a decent move from 110.85, got all the way down to 110.08. And, uh, you know, supported here by the the 100-hour, uh, the 200-hour moving average. Uh, I think one of the more important charts, we'll take a look at one more, one more currency chart, Euro-Yen. Um, this was a break trade for us. We've talked about it. It's been on the radar for a while through 130.28. We got that break. Barely, false, sold off, 40 pips, hanging around here unchanged in the day. You know, everything is pretty much unchanged. You know, the Aussie jobs just came out. It was slightly weaker, so that came under a little bit of selling pressure, but nothing major. I don't think, I don't think many of these pairs are going anywhere, especially the Euro crosses um, between uh, now and the ECB meeting, which could be interesting tomorrow. But I think uh, here's one of the more important charts right here. Bearish engulfing outside reversal day from the high of the whole move in the S&Ps. <clears throat> Closed right in the lows. We're a little bit higher here on the open, up three and a half ticks. But uh, this is worth watching. I also have some other um, momentum indicators that we follow that has me extremely cautious on the s and p's um, and with the bearish engulfing day outside reversal day lower um, i'm starting to lean left hand side for that so again we got the ecb in the morning um, there's been some hawkish undertones of late so we would expect to hear you know Here's something about the, these sources stories, not just the sources stories, but some of the other ECB officials that have been coming out talking about um, changing the, you know, uh, starting to reduce the liquidity that they've provided for the past few years. And, you know, maybe they'll announce that this meeting. There are other things I've read is it could be, it could be the July meeting. So either way, um, you know, we expect to see some action similar to maybe no follow through, but uh, definitely some movement. 
and the options market's got this underpriced for <clears throat> not really looking for a, a big move tomorrow. So that could catch the options players off guard, which you know would be good for for us because you can actually get some follow through and um, you know some some sort of tradable move. Anyhow, I'll leave you at that. Good luck trading, and we will speak to you on the European Open. Cheers.